Hi, and welcome back to Broadsheet Melbourne Around Town. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. I'm Katja Vuktel, Broadsheet's editorial director and the host of this 10-minute guide to Melbourne. One of Carlton's favourite venues is Heart Attack and Vine, a wine bar on Ligon Street, and they have just taken over a beautiful corner spot, previously home to Ema Project, which was also a Carlton favourite. They're off to Brunswick. James Williams, Broadsheets contributor, is here to tell us all about Sun Hands, which is Heart Attack and Vine's new venue. Welcome, James. Hi, Katja. Tell us about the new cafe from the Heart Attack and Vine crew. So Emo Project was obviously a very well-loved establishment in Carlton, and they've left the spot on the corner of Elgin and Drummond Streets, but an equally well-loved Carlton business has taken up the spot. Uh, Sun Hands is, like you said, by the Heart Attack and Vine duo, um, Matt Roberts and Nathan Doyle, but they've got a newcomer on board who is currently managing the Heart Attack and Vine on Ligon Street, but this is her debut project, uh, Ishala Butler. They're putting it as a meeting point for Carlton people. So it's like a wine bar, cafe, all day eatery, as well as like a bit of a deli and selling wine to take away as well as pickles and stuff. So it's a nice little like meeting point for Carlton. It does seem like the kind of place where if you're running late for a dinner party or heading to someone's house, you can drop in and grab a bottle of wine. That's exactly its intention, I think. And I will be likely taking up that opportunity. What are some of the plates on the menu? So they've got a morning plate, which is um, with some akimbo sourdough, uh, some house-made ferments and an egg. Um, and they also have dippy eggs, which is very cute and very uh, nourishing for the inner child. They've really made use of a lot of local makers. So those dippy eggs are, I love the way you described it in your story, enthroned in a beautiful little ceramic egg cut by a local maker. A local ceramicist has made um, all the ceramics that are on display in the shop, as well as the dippy egg cups. <laughs> Um, And they've also got an artist um, to create some stained glass artwork called Duck Ragu on Instagram. Um, And she's created like a custom sun hands artwork as well as a mirror on the wall as well, which adds a bit of colour to it. It's very pretty. The ingredients are all from, they're all sourced locally. Uh, That was something that was really important, important to the owner. And there are not just obviously local ingredients, but local drinks on the menu. I believe that the owner has his own wine line. Nathan Doyle does own his own wine brand and he's stocking his own network of wines within that shop. So there's a few other local drops that you can grab. It's a focus on Victoria, but it's a lot of Australian drops that you can grab and eventually you'll be able to drink them there, but for the time being, just a takeaway. Okay, let's talk about that. It's currently open till 3pm. 10 till 3. They're, I guess, in the process of getting a liquor licence, correct? So yep. they'll be so able to stay open later? The application's with the council now. And um, when I was speaking to Urshela about it, it was sounding very positive. They've spoken to all the neighbours and all the neighbours are on board and are keen for it. Um, so the plan is to open until 9 or 10pm and serve wines in their little alfresco area um, on Drummond Street. And it'd be more of like a late night, like afternoon wine spot, which is perfect for the location because in the afternoon, the sun hits that venue beautifully. And just sipping a wine there with like your dog by your side, I feel like it's a perfect vision of Carlton life. They said they've already got the dog bowls ready for... That They've exact got a scenario. Bowl. Yep, exactly. So Sun Hands, it makes sense then. A sun drenched corner. Now I understand the name a little bit better. Thanks so much for chatting to us about Sun Hands, James. Thank you for having me. Joanna Beecher started her at home massage service still in 2014. Until now, it's only been available at homes around the city, but now you can actually have one of her massages in a beautiful space in Melbourne, which Joe is here to tell us all about. Welcome, Joe. Thank you, Katja. After that, we'll also chat about About Time, which is a very exciting Australian bathhouse that's going to be opening on the Surf Coast, with which you're also involved. Yes, I but am. Let's start with Still, which is, I think, one of those places that if you've heard of it, you know, you got to get in early. You've got a lot of fans around the city and it's resulted in you consulting with some of Australia's top spas around the country. You know your massages. Tell us about Still and why you started it. 
I was living in London for a couple of years and I was working at a day spa and you don't get paid very much money in London. It was about eight pounds an hour, which I thought was illegal, but apparently <clears throat> apparently it's not. And so I started doing some home visits with some of my clients and I'll just add, I didn't have a car. So I'm walking through the snow with a massage table on the tube in buses <laughs> But I was really young and excited and I loved my job and I just got to experience what it was like doing home visits rather than working in a spa. So yeah, when I came back to Melbourne, I just started doing the same thing and just through all of my friends and family friends within about six months, I was completely booked up and I was working like a solid six days a week. And then, yeah, it just kind of turned into me actually starting the business where I started getting some new therapists working with me and they'd get booked and then I'd get another one to start working. And yeah, it just kept going from there. It was just a word of mouth business. Tell us about uh, Still's new, I guess, residency yeah. Uh, Little Company. Little Company is a facial business that Kent and Stacey, their partners from uh, New Zealand, they opened their first little company in Cremorne about six or seven years ago. And then they moved up to Byron Bay and opened their second one. And then during COVID, this opportunity to lease this really, really cool warehouse space in Collingwood popped up. So they jumped on it and they built their third spa there. And then when lockdowns all opened, they just said, well, do you want to use the spa so people can now come into a space rather than in the homes? Because first it was, everyone's got COVID, we can't go into the house. Then it was, everybody's a close contact, we can't go in the house. And then it was everyone being like, I don't want to be in my house anymore. And they just wanted to leave. And so then we had the option of coming into the spa in Collingwood. And it was it was really incredible, actually, because a lot of clients we'd been seeing for you know almost eight, eight or nine years they said, when I'm pregnant and I've got the kids at home, I need you in my house. Like I, I literally can't leave. But now they're like, get me out of there. I want to come into this beautiful spa with all the nice smells and products and everything like that. And then, you know, they might get pregnant and have another baby and they'll have to go home again. And so now we can just do both, which I think is really cool. Little Company is such a beautiful space, yeah. that little Collingwood spot. Yeah. Very well considered design. Yeah. And you walk in there and you automatically feel relaxed. Yeah. Which is, I think, really interesting because obviously Collingwood, especially Smith Street, mm. which which little company kind of is very near, is yeah. you know frenetic and lots of energy. But you yeah. go down this little mm. laneway, and all your anxieties and you actually just wash walk away. in there and just go, oh, and you just feel so relaxed. And you walk into the rooms, and they're like little caves, and you just feel cocooned and warmed and nurtured. Tell us about some of the services that Still provides at Little Company. Yeah, so Still has always been about a tailored massage for you and your body. So we don't have a list of all different treatments. Um, we do offer pregnancy if you're pregnant. It's just whatever you need on that day. And then when we came into Little Company, it was really cool because I was like, wow, I can use hot cabbies where I can heat towels and oils and we've got microwaves. I'm like, what can I create? And I thought, what is the ultimate treatment that I love? And I was like, head massage. Who doesn't love head massage? So I've created this whole scalp massage treatment that goes for 60 minutes. And I mean, I know I created it. Maybe I'm being arrogant, but I just feel like it's out of this world. Like I love experiencing it myself. So that's something special that you can come in for that you can't actually have at home. And okay. I'm just, I need one of those right now. It's been a busy, it's been a busy March. I um, and needs April it. is also looking yeah. really busy. <laughs> well, that sounds great. Now, how, is this open every day? If you were to book an appointment uh, at Steel, at Little Company, yeah. is it Monday yep. to Sunday? Yeah. So we've got a permanent room there now. So we've got therapists on every day. So you can come in and book any time, which is great. Let's talk about About Time, yes. which is a pretty enormous project yes. in Torquay. So About Time is a bathhouse and a day spa. And it's little company facials, still massages, and then the about time bathhouse, which includes magnesium pools, hot tubs, ice baths, ice cold plunge pools, steam room, sauna, infrared, kind of everything that you can think of that goes into a bathhouse we've got in there. We've also got a body scrub room for body treatments, which I'm really excited for because I love body scrubs. And then we've got nine treatment rooms for massages and facials. So where is it in Torquay? So it's on Baines Crescent and it's at Quicksilver's head office. They've just done a big development down there and there's this awesome new brewery there. There's Core Plus Pilates, there's Quickie's head office and there's a co-working office space and a little cafe. And then we're tucked out the back as well. 
when is about time opening? That is a very good question, Katja. Yeah. It's been pushed out another couple of months. So we're, we're hoping for July or August, but I don't want to, we actually just don't know. We're, we're pushing for as soon as we can, but we'll keep you posted. <laughs> So much of what we cover at Broadsheet are coming soon. And yeah. it always gets pushed back. But when it opens, it's so exciting. Yeah. And I think people will be excited about the new bathhouse. And of course, until then and ongoing, they can go and have a still massage at Little Company in Collingwood. Yes. Thanks so much for chatting, Joe. Thanks, Gotcha. Thanks for having me. That's all we have time for today. As usual, you can stay up to date anytime, anywhere at broadsheet.com.au or on Instagram at broadsheet underscore melp. I'll be back again next week, same time, same place. Chat then.